okay so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a table in your neon Postgres database and also how to add update and delete the data inside your table and also how to drop or delete the neon Postgres database table so let's get started so right now I have my node.js okay and I have added this package and I have created a whole video on how to set all of this up with your node.js okay so you can go and watch that video but I'm gonna continue from here where I'm going to show you first how to create the table in your neon Postgres database so right now as you can see I am in my tables I have logged into my account I am in the table section and if I show you I have no tables installed here I have no tables added here and I will show you the SQL command that will help you create tables so and all of these commands are super simple so the command to create our table is create table and then the name of the table which I will say posts posts and then we'll use these brackets okay and these are backticks by the way and the reason why I'm using backticks is because I want to cleanly write all of this code because if you use quotes which is this okay quotes or double quotes the problem with using quotes or double quotes is that you cannot then separate your code onto new lines so to add the columns I'm going to add a ID column so the columns I'm going to add are ID and also let's say title and description and created at okay and I'll explain all of these because all of these are going to require something different and depending on how you make your table you should know all of these things so the ID has to be something unique each and every time we enter data into our database so we have to add a auto increment to it and the way to do that with Postgres is use the serial and there is a small and big serial as well but serial most of the time is perfect okay so that then I'm gonna say not null depending on your situation you can add not null or you can do without it but I like to add it just in case also the next one is going to be primary key which will tell that this is a primary key okay so this is going to be the primary key of this database next we will move on to title which I will say var char okay and you can just do var char or you can specify how many characters should there be in this so for example I'll say 200 characters because I my title could be long but I don't want it to be too long okay so next I will add a not null because I don't want the title to be null and with description we can just say varchar which is short for variable character okay which means numbers and letters all of them can be added and also uh, special characters like plus minus and stuff like that so next is going to be created at so created at is going to be whenever we end up adding something into our database we want it to have the current timestamp okay so whatever the current timestamp is at the time the data has been submitted into the database we want that to automatically be added with the 
submission of this row so to do that I'm going to say timestamp and I'm gonna say default and next is going to be the current timestamp okay so all of this should be working fine I've created the connection I've added the SQL query and I'm gonna catch any errors using this actually uh, let me also add a response dot status of let's say 404 just to keep things simple and then say JSON okay and I'll say errors to get the error object okay so I've added this and then finally is basically closing the connection we've made to the database you should always add this at the end for security purposes so I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna use Thunder client okay and you can use whichever thing you feel comfortable with you could use postman or whatever but I'm going to use Thunder Client. So I'm going to make a request to the slash, which is a get request here. Okay. So get request, and I'm going to send this data. Okay. I have gotten an error. The only thing I see wrong is this. So I'm going to save this and submit another request. yeah it worked okay so so I ended up adding a coma here that's why it ended up causing a problem so I'm gonna refresh this and if everything worked yeah we have posts and we have a ID title description and created at okay so let's move on to adding data into our database which is also another simple command with this and I'm just gonna remove all of this and I'm gonna say insert into posts okay which is the name of the table and then I'm gonna add this okay and here I'm going to add in the name of the columns that I want to add data into which is going to be title and description okay and these are the only things I want to add data into because remember our ID is auto incremented which means it will automatically update and our created at will take the current time and date so next is going to be values okay and the reason it is values is that you can add more than one data at a time okay so for example and then I'll do this and I'll do this okay and here I'm gonna add a title and I'm just gonna keep things simple I'm gonna say quotes okay and I'm gonna say post one and for the description I'm gonna say post let's say data one okay and actually I'm just gonna copy this and just paste it here and just change from one to two okay and this is enough to add data into our database so I'm gonna save this and while this is saving I'm gonna come here and here I'm gonna submit a request okay another error happened oh this I didn't need to add that okay that was the problem okay so I'm gonna save this and now I'm gonna submit a request and as you can see the data was added and 
and if I refresh this, you will see two rows. Yes, as you can see. And as you can see, the current time and date was added into our database automatically. And the post data, uh, the title and description, and as you can see, the ID is auto incremented as well. So next, I'll show you how to edit the data. So let's say instead of post one, we just wanted it to say post and post data. I'm going to remove the one from this. Okay. And the ID is what I'm going to use to target this row. So let's go back and I'm going to remove all of this. So to update the row in our database, I'm going to type in the SQL query. The query is really simple. It is update posts set then you tell it which values you want to set into which column so I'm gonna type in title is equal to and you need to use single quotes okay and then type in the new title which is post okay then you separate these with a comma then the next one is description is equal to single quotes and then post data okay and then we are going to use the where clause using this we are going to tell it which row we want to target and that is the ID which is equal to one and no single or double quotes just directly tell it the number of the ID number of the row you want to target and the reason is that it is a integer value not a string these are strings so you need to, so you need to tell it like this and then just save this so I'm gonna run the command So now I'm going to refresh this. You will see it is now post and post data. I'm going to turn back into post data one. Post one, one, and post data one. Save this. Now I am going to send another request and just refresh this you will see it's post data one again now I'm going to show you how to delete this which is a super simple query and that is delete from posts where ID is equal to one. Uh, actually, I'm going to use two to delete the second row. Okay, let's save this. And I'm just going to send in the request. And let's see if the second one is deleted or not when I refresh. As you can see, the second row is now gone. And now I'm going to show you the command to delete the whole table. Okay, and that is also a super simple SQL query, which is called drop table instead of delete. So drop table, and then the name of the table, which is posts. I'm going to save this, and I'm going to send the request. And I'm going to refresh this and as you can see my table is now gone so these are the simple SQL commands so I hope you like this tutorial like and subscribe to stay updated on the latest tutorials and I'll see you in the next one bye